Hello, it's Joanne. Um, I hope this is working okay. I was trying to go live on my tablet, but it wasn't working. It was taking ages to load. So hopefully this is working. It seems to be saying that I went live and hopefully you can hear me and everything okay. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with my tablet there, technology. Um, so yeah, I am doing and I'm hoping my phone doesn't fall over as well. Um, I've got a brand new box for book session tonight. Um, it's a, a new collaboration that we've got with them, so thank you very much to Tim um, who sent me this. I feel like I've got a good double chin here. Um, yeah, as I say, it's new and it's not a makeup one, so again, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. So what I'll do, I'll show you the box first and I'll just cover up my address because I learned that from Mel last night. Go to my address. It's from <laughs> Discover Incense. So you can... Oh, God! <laughs> that worked. Um, there we go. So you can see um, it's really, really cute. It's got a really lovely label on it. Um, I really like the font and everything and the little diagrams. And I've also realised I've forgotten to paint my nails as well. So just excuse the state of me. I'm just in from work. So yeah, as I said, it's from Discover Incense. And I've been doing quite a wee bit of reading into this company. Um, I really, really like them. I really like what they stand for. I really like what they're all about. They can be found at www.siestacrafts.co.uk. You can get the link in there to the incense subscription box. Um, that's so it's siesta, as in siesta, sleeping in Spanish, siestacrafts.co.uk. Now, as I said, I've got the Discover Incense, so this is just actually one part of their business. What they actually are, Siesta Crafts, it was started back in 1983 by Chris and Les. They have been travelling in Mexico and Guatemala, which explains the name, and they just started. Basically, I started with a shop um, in Canterbury. So if anyone's in Canterbury, they're 100 metres from the cathedral. So I definitely recommend getting down there to have a wee look at it. They've got the shop and they've got the wholesale business. So it's not just incense. I say this was brand new to me. I hadn't heard about them. I hadn't heard about Siesta. I hadn't heard of Discover Incense. Um, so I did a lot of digging. I had a wee look at their website today. They sell amazing things. I would urge everyone, seeing if incense isn't your thing, go and have a look at this website. See the jewellery and they sell dresses and um, bags and basically everything, everything you could possibly want, any unusual gifts. Um, I, I really, really recommend them. And they're not, it's not private or expensive either. I mean, your rings maybe start at like £4 and things like that. What really caught my eye, which I love, which I'm going to buy when I get paid, um, is a bomb bangle. And these are just basically just little silver bangles and they're made from deactivated bombs from, Scott told me how to pronounce this, Laos. No, I said that wrong. Laos. Can't remember. Anyway, it's a southeastern, um, southern Asian country, central Asian country. La, la, Leo. Leo. Lao. Lao. That's it. Lao. And so what they do is they get the unexploded ordnance and the artisan families make these bracelets. So... What you know, what the, the company do, what um, Siesta do, is that they'll actually give a percentage of the sales to a landmine charity and also to a local school as well. So it's just, it's just an art and art and families in Laos, I can't pronounce that, that um, make these bracelets. As I say, earrings, things like that, Nepalese earrings, absolutely beautiful. And they sell these Cusco beads as well, which if you're into like, making your own jewellery, you can buy you know, a, a batch of them and you can make up your own jewellery. And as I say, you know, the, the prices are great. I mean, they've got like masks that you can put in your wall. They've got Zen Buddha gardens. I mean, loads of stuff. Some of the dresses were really, really nice as well. Um, I saw a really nice wee frock that I quite fancy. That was about £25, I think. Um, and obviously all your bags and things like that, you know, your, your canvas bags. So definitely have a wee look at it, as I say. I think um, for gifts and for yourself as well, really, really nice things. But um, as I said, this one is incense and what they also do is, as I discover incense, it's a monthly subscription service and one month costs you £12.99, three months costs you £11.99 per month, six months costs you £10.99 per month and 12 months costs you £9.99 per month. Now you pay via PayPal and delivery costs are included in that. So I think that's really, really good value. And they ship to anywhere in mainland UK. So sorry for our, our Irish people, um, you're not going to be able to get them. Although they did say that they could possibly ship overseas, but just to send them a wee email. And that's something as well. They seem very, very customer orientated. And I, I really liked their website. It was really, really nice. It was, you know, the, the pattern, things like that was really, really good. So I, I'm, I'm really, really feeling it. Um, what they describe this box as being 
um, as for those starting out in the world of incense, which is what I am. Um, I used to burn incense when I was young, very young, maybe about 14, 15, because my dad's a fireman, so incense was a bit more um, safer than candles. And I think I remember it was opium, opium scented that I had. My dad just hated it, said to me, I'm just going to kill me. So I've never really burned incense. I'm brand new to incense as well. I would like my scented candles and things like that. Yeah, I've never really tried incense. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what's in this. What they do as well, which I love about Siesta, is everything's imported and it's all fair trade. And they are a member of this, if I get this right, the British Association of Fair Trade Shops. So everything's fair trade. Um, I took a screenshot on my phone as well so that I could try and actually, you know, tell you what they do. But they do so much for the community and things like that. I mean, they, they are very much putting back into the community. What they'll do is they will pay you know, um, man manufacturers, it's, it's like families, you know, that's what it is. They will pay them up front for the orders so that these, these families aren't needing to get in debt, you know, to fulfil the orders. So I just I just love the whole ethos behind them. I'm just um, majorly thumbs up. And as I say, you know, totally encourage you to check out the website. Just lovely, lovely stuff. So this one, the, the, the inbox, is, um, every month you will get a, a lovingly curated box with at least three packets of incense and a special gift. And you'll also get a little booklet of notes about your products. What they also do as well, which I loved, um, it's a one-off box. If you just email them, just pop them a wee email, they will make you up a specially curated box just for you. And again, because of a lot of the gifts and things like that and jewellery, you know, it's maybe not going to look exactly like it does on the website because, you know, it's, it's handmade, it's all artisan stuff. Um, so, you know, they've said if you're looking for something specific, specific colour pattern or whatever, to pop it in the comments and they said, you know, you can make it a haiku, make it a poem. And I just, I just love that. I just thought it was like a really good sense of fun about them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, each incense box will have a special theme. So they've given a few examples on their website. It might be new beginnings. It might be Tibetan tranquility, power, meditation. So I don't know what this one is. I can't wait to find out. And what they do, they dispatch on the 10th of every month. You are charged when you sign up, so that's quite good if you've got money, you've just been paid. Get your sign up then. And um, renewals are charged every 30 days after that, which I'm assuming it will be on the, the day you, you sign up, it'll be 30 days after that. Your subscription is auto renewed, so just a wee reminder if you're going to go for maybe for like the six or 12 months, I'm sure they will email you anyway, but just bang a wee reminder in your diary, you know, if you are wanting to cancel it or other than that, it just auto renews, so it's no hassle for you. Um, if you want to take a break, holiday, or change of address again, they're, you know, super customer service, so they said just email them about that. So, yeah, that is what this is. See, so discover incense from. Um, siesta crafts so as I said you know the box is really really nice I hope I can slow because it's it's going to smell a little bit rattly so I'm just going to go right into this I don't think I've missed anything off in my little my little notes but I mean if you live in Canterbury or Sydney I'll definitely urge you to get around to the wee shop because it just sounds great so well, let's open this box let's see what's inside and obviously it's several mail as well um, okay so this is what we see so I've got the little sheet which tells you about your first, oh I can smell it already, <laughs> first discover incense box. So what it says here, their aim over the course of the subscription is to provide you with a wide range of enthralling and sensuous fragrances from around the world as well as a little extra gift each month. We like little gifts. Um, this little sheet you will get every month, it will give you a description of your incenses. It says this month they're introducing a very popular style of incense, Indian stick, Indian style stick incense. Um, oh, it's a viscous mixture which is applied by automated process onto thin sticks of bamboo. Oh, that sounds quite interesting. Um, so I'm shaking my flash my bits there. So, <laughs> um, so I, it's got a wee description of each incense that I've got in here, and let's just have a wee look at them then. Now, on the website, you can buy the incense separately. They've got a whole big section for that as well. Prices do vary. I mean, you can maybe get a, the cheaper one, maybe it's about £1.80, but then it can go right up to £10. So, I mean, it's definitely cost-effective. If you like your incense, it's definitely cost-effective to get the subscription. And I think especially the, the packaging postage cost being included, you know, in the price, I think definitely. So this one is Satya. Let's see if we can see that. And look at the packaging on it as well. It's so nice. I mean, what they do as well, I mean, they, they import from all, all over, all over the, you know, 
the region and as I just really like the, the connection that they've got with the communities and you know, the people that actually sit and make these things. So it said this one, it's a very popular, smells great. Established company, Satcha Sai Baba, I'm not pronouncing that right, says they've been making incense sticks since 1964. They've got a reputation for quality and innovation. It says, this one has got a subtle floral scent with an overriding warm sweetness. Oh, so it's perfect for uplifting one's mood and reactivating the mind. Thank you, Stacey. <laughs> I'm going to go in for the curls these days. Um, that's great. I mean, my depression's pretty freaking rotten at this point in time. So this is definitely getting used. I think this will be the first one that I'll be burning because um, I'm definitely needing a bit of mood uplifting. I mean, you wouldn't think it to kind of hear me just now being quite cheerful and perky and that. But yeah, it's, it's not, not a fun time just now. Uh, says here helps reduce the negative and increase the positive aspects of all zodiac signs. So I really, really like that. And it's got little, whoops, where's my camera? <laughs> it's got little stickers there as well. So everything's, you know, totally sealed. So I'm just going to try and see if I can get on oh, without tearing the sticker. I've just torn the sticker. Clumsy. I see I'm saying it's never really anything I've been into, but I'm I'm really dying to try this. I think you just always think incense has been really heavy and you know it's really stuff for migraines. So you're kinda like, is it you know does it give you migraines and things like that? But you know, when you read things like this and oh it smells it smells really, really nice. We all know what incense sticks look like. I'm not gonna take it out, but you're getting one, two, three, four, five, oh I see there's about twelve. 12 sticks in there, and I'm not sure how long incense tends to burn for. Um, I think I think you got a good couple of hours out of a stick. So, yeah, that one is fab. That's the first one I'm going to be using. Next, Tribal Soul Smudge Sticks. Hello, Santo. I see that again, that's all nice and bright colouring. Um, this says they're inspired by the mystical forest light -like scent of the Palo Santo or Holy Woods. Made by the Harry Darshan Incense Company in Bangalore. So, you know, it's coming straight to the source. I just love that about this company. I love it. Um, it's a traditionally South American scent. And as they say here, it's been reimagined to gain new relevance in the perspective of Indian spirituality. And on their website as well, you know, they've got a whole section on spirituality and things like that. So I, I definitely recommend going up and read. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So what it's, uh, yeah, it's just kind of what it says. It says, this has got a sweet balsamic and herbal scent. It's really light. I, always said, I think maybe the opium one that I burnt in the past was quite heavy, but it's really, really light. And it says, again, this one is calming, calming and soothing and it carries a powerful energy of healing and purification, which again is right up my street right now. Um, 15 grams and that. So, and there you open it up and it's got your instructions and there so you probably can't really read that. I so, see yeah basically I mean you light the tip of the stick and then you blow it the flame. So yeah that's great. I think that's really really cute. I really like that. And the last incense that I have I really hope no one can see my past I'm just gonna see the bottom of the screen myself. Apologies if I'm flashing my flange at you so um this is nature's garden Himalayan spice. Oh, that smells really nice as well. Um, it's Himalayan Spices, as you can guess by the name. And just kind of a little logo and things like that. And again, the packaging's just lovely. All recyclable and things like that as well, obviously, because they're so, you know, eco-conscious. Um, they make these strict sticks by hand in Kathmandu, Nepal. Each is lovingly placed in a thin traditional locked up paper packets. I mean, even that's all traditional. I love it. And they're decorated with a hand-pressed flower, which will be that. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like that. And last but not least, as you know, when you burn incense, you need an incense holder. So I've got an incense holder. And this is, this is a kind of free gift. So obviously if you get your, you know, your beginner kit, you're this is going to get this because this is what you need to start, to start you off your incense journey. So yeah, when you just, you just um, insert your stick into the, the hole. I'm trying not to make double entendres here. <laughs> and yeah, just let it burn. It says um, this this holder's handmade in India. Um, yep. Oh, there's something else in here. Ha! Oh my god, that is so cute. That's a little tea light. This is handmade in Northern Thailand. 
meteorite sculpted into the shape of beautiful vivid flowers. That is too gorgeous to burn. You wouldn't want to burn that, would you? That is so pretty, so I hope you can kind of see that. I'll get good pictures anyway when I'm putting it on my review um, and you can see a wee close up of that, but that's absolutely gorgeous. So next month, oh, I don't, I don't think I'll tell you what next month's going to be, um, but oh, sounds right up my street as well. So I am I'm really, really impressed with this. I mean, I'll, I'll be brutally honest in sense. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. As I say, not really at any great interest in interest and in incense. I knew I was going to make a <laughs> faux pas with that as well. Um, but I mean, this this could really, really definitely get me into an incense. I mean, I think if you like your scented candles, your wax melts and things like that, this is definitely, you know, something to, to kind of branch out into. And as I say, I just love the whole ethos behind the company. I just love that it's, it's putting back, you know, into the communities. And I, I just think we need more of that in, in this day and age. You know, all these big multinational corporations that are just killing the earth. And, you know, this wee company just helps the people. And, you know, it's, it's sustainable as well. So I'd, I would highly recommend you have a wee look. So say the website, www.siestacrafts.co.uk. If you go on that, say the just the, the variety of products that they sell is amazing. You can get your incense subscription box through the link on the website. But I'll pop all my links in my written review anyway. Um, but I, would, I would definitely recommend having a wee look at these and having a wee look at the website because I think when I get paid, I'm going to be like, oh, hey, bomb bangles and oh, that frock that I saw was really pretty. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this. Thank you very much, Tim, um, for sending me this and for, for Chris and Les, um, you know, who, who started Siesta. And I think that's me for tonight. Um, I, that's me. I'm going to go and burn one of my incenses and cap myself down and try and <laughs> square my nut up a little bit. Um, yeah, everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching that. And I go sign up to this. <laughs> I'll get my written review up within um, seven days and you can read everything there. I'll test these all out and let you know how they smell and let you know how they, they do with my, my mental heat at the moment. But I'll just say goodbye and signing off and everyone have a lovely evening. Goodbye.